What's up guys, Megazard here. I'm recording this right after the last games, the ones versus homie dino, so I'm still sick. I'm still doing the same music thing, not the update stuff. Suck my nuts. Uh, I have two tour games for you that were both like just some non-standard formats that I thought I'd just lump together because one of them would be too short, so two of them work better. I don't know. First one is gonna be Gen 4 Yu Yu versus Hog. I just joined a Gen 4 Yu Yu tour because two times the tap is always telling me how fun it is. So I joined it and got some teams from him. It's just best of one, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. Hog is a good Yu Yu player, but I don't know. I don't know if he played during Gen 4, but he's certainly good at like current Gen OU, uh, Yu Yu. I didn't really expect to win this, but I'm still gonna go in. Um. So, he's going to lead Omastar. I lead with the uh, Toxic Spikes Taunt Lead Drapion, which is a thing, I guess. Uh, I'm going to keep pausing to explain the sets. I don't think going over my team first would look better, so I'm just going to try to explain it. But um, I'm going to lead with the Drapion. I'm just going to taunt him because I expect him to be Rock Spikes to attacking moves lead. I am now going to get up some Toxic Spike, expecting him to be cool. I surfed as a crap ton. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Drapion. <laughs> I did so much. Um, I'm gonna get off some earthquake damage because I do want to break his sash as he just kills me with the surf In hindsight might have been better to go right to polyrath, but this is sub punch, which I think is cool Unfortunately is a toxic row, which is just Massive counter team like he has the dry skin the fun, fun, fun punch resist um, and And he's special nasty plot, so I can't even bulk up on him like just massive unfortunate shenanigans but i'm gonna go clay doll as he nasty plots i'm like please don't have dark pulse that would suck he has dark pulse but clay doll lives because i'm cool i guess so i take out the toxic rook but losing toxic spikes is just huge for the rest of the game just really unfortunate uh, he goes swallow which would have been nice to have clay doll for although i guess you could just keep u turning on it um he's gonna u turn take out the clay doll uh, I did want, like, if I had rocks for it, that would have been nice, but I don't. So he goes Houndoom, I go Polyrath, I click Waterfall, he is an Executor. But why does he have all the Polyrath resists? I don't know. But this team was, like, built around Polyrath, and that sucks. So I'm gonna sub, trying to catch, like, a bulky Leech Seed. He ends up being max speed Sunny Day, which kind of butt fucks me. So, I'm going to sub, try to stall out some sun, but at the same time, I want this at a high enough health so I can check Houndoom. Uh, I am now going to focus punch just to get off some damage, as he's going to not really take that much damage from it. Like, I, I guess that's okay, but it's not enough. It's never enough. So, I'm going to go to my own Houndoom, as he solar beams again, which does a buttfuck ton of damage. Buttfuck is actually a, um, a mount. Also, he didn't take life orb damage when he broke the sub, so I guess that's gen 4 mechanics. I don't really know. Probably works like that, but I'm going to take him out with the sucker punch. He goes to his own houndoom. I lose the speed tie. I, if I won that, I would have been in a pretty nice position to get off the damage, unfortunately. I'm going to go polyrath. He is going to reveal either HP electric or HP grass. Pro, I don't know. He is pasha berry. If I won the speed tie, I could have gotten off damage to kill him through the pasha berry, but I didn't. And so he's going to be able to take me out. At this point, I have two mons to his four. One of them is Sceptile, which is normally pretty good mon to have him last. Sceptile is a good cleaner. Try to sub, hoping he misses. Um, but it, it's not like Sceptile can clean when he has a Swellow right there to outspeed and kill all my shit. So At this point, the game is mostly over. He's going to he's gonna be able to go Swellow. Um, I need to keep Sceptile and hope he can sweep. So I'm going to go to my Spirit Tomb. As I think he just brave birds. This is kind of a 50-50. I am choice banned. So if I had pursued maybe I have a chance. But he's just going to straight switch out. If I pursued it, I don't know if that would kill. But I am going to try to click Sucker as he can just go to Omastar. Um, sucker again as he's going to set up hazards. At, at this point, it's basically game over. I actually might have won if I pursued it. No, I wouldn't have won. Never mind. The problem is I'm going to go Sceptile. I am going to kill his Omastar because he, he can let it die. He doesn't need it anymore. He can go right back to Swellow. Um, I have a chance because Swellow can't avoid Sucker Punch, I believe. Like, I'm assuming at this point it's four attacks. That's what I have to assume. 
Uh, unfortunately, he's going to U-turn and U-turn and reveal that his last is a choice scarf Rotom. So Sceptile wasn't really sweeping anyway, because um, it would have to Leaf Storm to kill both Rotom and Omastar. So I'm the sucker. He's going to trick. He can just PP stall me out of this. So I mean, what what can you do? I'm going to click Sucker again. He switches into Swallow, and then I think at this point I just forfeit. Yeah, he goes back to Rotom. He goes back to Swallow. Did I forfeit yet? Yeah, okay, I forfeited, so. That was the game. Out of the tour a bit early, but oh well. Sometimes you have to take the round one loss. Second game is going to be versus NV. This is for an NU tour called Those Left Behind or something like that. And the gimmick right here, you get five mons. You don't get six. So, instead of, like, stealing a team from someone like I would normally do in a tier I don't know, I actually decided to build my own kind of team. It is... Suicide Lead, Archaeops, Firewater, Grass Core, and Glue, Hariyama with dual priority. He actually put thought into his team. I didn't. Um, I mean, I sort of put in thought. Sceptile is good, fast, puts on pressure. It's Flame Charge, Magmortar, so it can kind of sweep, and it's Swords and it's Samurott, so... Scary stuff. Unfortunately, Lead Steelix is going to be kind of annoying versus Lead Archaeops, although I can taunt it. Um, either way, I'm going to... God damn it! Remember last time versus Homie Dino? I can't click play music off. I just forget. I don't know why. I'm sorry. So, I lead Archaeops. He leads Steelix. I think he's going to predict the taunt and not rocks. Because if he did that, he'd be in a great situation just automatically. He doesn't predict the taunt. Um, now I'm going to taunt as he goes for a Toxic. And I'm trying to get him to break my thing to put me down to Endeavor. As he does, I'm going to hope he doesn't go Rotom. Which is stupid, because I should have just head smashed, because Rotom was really predictable. Like, really predictable, but... He's going to double back into Steelix as I head smash and kill myself to recoil. Definitely should have head smashed earlier. Would have gotten me the same result either way, so... It's whatever. I do know he's not Scarf Rotom, though, which is good to know, but... I can go Magmortar and get a kill. He cannot switch into this. Magmortar is actually a huge threat to his team. Um, I can't set up a flame charge on it though, which kind of sucks. So he goes Rotom. I click Fire Blast, then I cancel, click Flame Charge because I can sweep, but he reveals he's Thunder Wave Rotom, and then I talk to him in chat because I know Envy. He says that it's just to lure fire types, which is a kind of cool set, I have to admit. So now I can go Sceptile, kill me with the Earthquake, which he could have done originally, but if he'd gone Sceptile before, I would just switched out and kept Magmortar to Flame Charge Sweep. So I can go Hariyama. And free knockoff because I kind of expect him to go Scyther, but you know, it's pretty predictable, so he's gonna go into Scum Tank. I didn't know what he would have to hit me, so I just click close combat, but he ends up defogging, which makes Scyther an actual threat. I didn't think Scyther was a threat. Newsflash, it's actually a threat now because it doesn't, I don't have rocks up for it, so I can sack Hariyama. I don't need it. What I need is to weaken the Scyther. And then it basically comes down to this. He's going to kill me with Aerial Ace. And um, it depends. If he is max HP, max speed, if Violite, Swords Dance, Scyther, which is a set, then it cannot Oko Samurott, which means I can get off enough damage to kill him with Sceptile. If he is max attack, max speed, if Violite, Scyther, which is also a potential set, especially in this kind of meta, which is like a different meta. Then he can Oko Samurott, but I can go for Aqua Jet, get off enough damage to kill him with Sceptile. In both those scenarios, it's still coming down to like a Sceptile versus Sceptile position. But So I'm going to run a few calcs. And the knockoff is like... Like, really low damage for Bulky Scyther but just barely out of the damage range for Offensive Scyther. So I'm going to go Samurott and just assume it's bulky max HP, no attack Scyther. As it turns out, I get that right. I take the hit. Unfortunately, I click. I, I do decide to click Megahorn. My reasoning behind that is, if I click Megahorn, he is now in range of Hidden Power Ice from a Life Orb Sceptile. So I don't have a reason not to. If I click Waterfall, he goes Sceptile, he wins. Megahorn is just the safest option, because either way, I'm getting off enough damage to put him in range of HP Ice. Uh, now, I don't Aqua Jet, because it is a potential thing for him to roost. So, I go Sceptile, I kill him with the HP Ice. Now it's a Sceptile tie, but the thing is, um, a Sceptile Hidden Power Ice 
only does like 75% to another septile. I'm out of range. He's also out of range. But either way, whoever wins, he goes for one. It's going to do 67%, which is like absolute min. But I still lived, and he's going to put himself in range for 100%. 100%, I can't talk, with the life orb hit, so I did actually win that scenario unless he outsped and got a crit, so really close game versus Envy, but uh, yeah, I can bring you more of that tour. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Don't really have much to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.